Und damit sind And now we come to the 500 euro question. How thick is a single glass fiber? A as thread, B as wool, C as hair, or indeed D as rope. The correct answer is C. A glass fiber is exactly the same width as a strand of hair, around 9 microns. And with that, welcome to Netzgeschichten. Glass fiber or optical fiber is the fastest way to send messages and data from point A to point B. To transfer data through fiber optic cables, electrical signals are needed to be converted into optical signals, light. Fun fact, nothing goes faster than light. The speed of light in the air is 300,000 kilometers per second, which means that the light from the moon's surface takes more than one second to reach us. On the other hand, the speed of light inside a glass fiber is only about 200,000 kilometers per second. Our glass fiber consists of a 9 micron diameter core, surrounded by cladding glass of 125 microns. This fiber construction has the potential to carry signals for long distances with low loss at the speed of light. A protective layer to provide mechanical protection and more flexibility also covers the glass fiber. When the destination is reached, the optical signals are converted back to electrical signals, displaying the data on the user's computer, tablet or smartphone. Glass fiber optic lines are designed to transfer large amounts of data at very high speeds simultaneously. To make this phenomenon possible, the light in the infrared region with wavelengths longer than visible light is used, just the way that radio stations do. Glass fiber makes parallel big data transfer possible at the speed of one terabyte per second. This is the data volume of eight smartphones with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. A typical glass fiber is made up of not one, but many optical fibers. Each contains 12 optical fibers that are joined in a plastic sleeve, a loose tube. These tubes together form a fiber optic cable. Fun fact, a long distance cable like those used by telecom contains 192 optical fibers. Stiffeners made of plastic and aramid yarn are applied to provide cushioning for the fibers and mechanical protection. And glass fiber has even further advantages. They are relatively cheap to produce, they're not as thick as copper cables, so they save space, and they are immune to electrical interference. So dünn und doch so thin and yet so powerful. That's crazy. And this is exactly the kind of cable that is buried beneath us. Of course, we will be discussing optical fibers again in Netzgeschichten. In one of the next episodes, for example, we will be looking at the use of glass fibers in research laboratories. And if you subscribe to our channel, we'll see you next week. Thank <music> you.